Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at a mod pack called Opal Fab, which is basically Optifine alternatives on Fabric and this is on the latest version of Minecraft, version 1.18.2. There has been a new update for Opal Fab, this is version 1.3. I have gone ahead and updated all of the mods to their latest versions and I have added a few more mods as well to this pack. So you guys will be able to enjoy this pack and get that Optifine type feeling. For those of you who don't know, Optifine is a shader and performance mod for Minecraft Java Edition and these fabric alternatives can replicate some of the functions that you would expect to see when you are using Optifine. So now you can use them with fabric and enjoy most of the functions that you would have seen with Optifine. One of the new mods which I have included actually makes your skin glow in this and gives it that emissive type feeling. So as you guys can see, the skin which I have actually got on my character right now is making the red bits glow in the dark so if I go into a dark area let's actually go underwater here and go to a sort of dark looking area and if you have a look at my character you can actually see that the red bits are glowing and this is thanks to the mod which is called entity texture features so as you guys can see it says optifine format compatible random custom textures emissive textures blinking textures and player skin textures so you do need to use specific skins to get this type of effect but i think this is a really cool mod and definitely worth checking out it does also have some of the regular things that you would expect to see in optifine such as zooming so i can actually press the zoom key and I can actually zoom in quite into the distance there as you guys can see let's actually zoom into the, the moon as you guys can see over here I can actually go in quite far this is thanks to the Wii zoom mod that is also included in this pack we also have dynamic lighting as you guys can see the area around my character is not glowing but if I do actually equip an item which is actually glowing based it does make the area around my character glow and this is thanks to the dynamic lighting mod on fabric on version 1.18.2 so as you guys can see I am equipping a torch and I'm switching between the torch and the sword and the area around my character is glowing. It also works with other stuff so as you guys can see I've got a glow ink sack here which is also making the area around my character glow so it's really cool. So we do have a dynamic lighting as well and we have the zoom function. We also have the custom sky as well so as you guys can see I've got the fabric skybox mod installed and we've got this really cool looking sky over here that we can also see and expect in Optifine but now we can actually enjoy this on sodium and iris shaders so if I go to my options we can see that I am actually running sodium here I've got sodium and sodium extra installed you can tell from the actual layout that this is sodium and you can also see that I've got sodium extra installed because I do have these extra options here like animations particles and I can also show my FPS and coordinates and all this other cool stuff that is included with Sodium Extra. If I click on this shader packs button on the top here I can go ahead and enable or disable other shader packs in here. All you need to do is click on this folder and then just drag a shader pack zip file and then enable it from this list which will allow you to actually play the game with the shaders similar to how you can do it with Optifine as well. So that's another cool feature that is included with this mod pack as well. As you guys can see on the top left corner there I do have some nice FPS currently showing I've actually gone ahead and put all of the performance based mods from my boosted FPS mod pack into this mod pack so you can expect some nice performance with this mod pack as well so not only do you get those Optifine type mods included with this pack you also get some nice performance mods as well so you should be able to get some nice performance and cool quality of life functions as well with this mod pack we also do have connected glass so as you guys can see I've got some glass here and if I was to lay them down down, it does actually connect the glass as well so as you guys can see there's no lines showing in between the glass same thing also applies to stuff like sandstone which is the connected textures element of this mod as well so this is the connected glass and connected textures mod which is also included as you guys can see we do have some sandstone blocks here and you can see on the top there we do have this line going across but if I was to place another sandstone block on top of it we can see that that line actually disappears and it actually connects it and merges the blocks together. So we can see that the connected textures and connected glass is working in this mod pack as well. There are other mods as well that are included in this pack. One cool function is that we can now also see health 
on top of the mobs as well. So as you guys can see, I'm staring at this zombie and I can see that it's got 100% health. And if I was to attack it, it actually shows me how much health they've got left. So this is another mod which I've gone ahead and included in this mod pack to make it easier to see how much HP a mob has got. As well as the armor that glows in this, some entities also have glowing elements as well. So for example, let's go ahead and place down the spider. And as you guys can see, the spider is actually glowing on the front there. You can actually see the glow coming out of the front of the spider there. This entity mod actually makes other textures glow as well, which is really cool. The only thing that we are missing from this pack is glowing ores. So if you guys are looking for glowing ores, then I would recommend that you guys actually use a shader pack like complementary shaders, for example, which allow us to have glowing ores inside our Minecraft game. So if you guys are looking for stuff like glowing ores, then get the complementary shaders and just go to the options menu here, click on video settings, click on shader packs, and then just drop the complementary shader zip file inside the shader pack folder and then enable that and you should have glowing ores as well. So if you guys are looking for some nice Optifine alternative mods for fabric on Minecraft 1.18.2, then definitely do get the Opal Fab mod pack. The latest version, version 1.3, is really cool. It does have some really nice mods included with it, and I think you guys are gonna enjoy that. And also, for those of you who are looking for performance-based mods, this also comes with the performance-based mods as well, so you can expect some decent performance inside your Minecraft game. I would recommend that you guys get this on the CurseForge client. So just go to the CurseForge website, I will leave a link in the description on where you guys can actually go ahead and download this mod pack and get it set up. So go to the CurseForge website, click on the CurseForge app link on the top, and then just click on the download link for the CurseForge client, and then you should see something like this once the CurseForge client has loaded up. And then all you need to do is just go where it says search for mod packs and just type in Opal Fab, or you can actually type in a Gamer Potion as well and check out some of my other mod packs which I have created. Search for Opal Fab and then click on the install button over here and it should install it for you. So as you guys can see, I've got the Opal Fab mod pack installed. This is version 1.3. Click on the play button and then it should load up inside the game. If you have any other comments or queries about the mods shown in this video or any of the other mods from the Opal Fab mod pack, then also do leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to try and help you guys out. If you enjoyed the video, please do give us a like and also please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.